Hey, 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 you're catching me, you're catching Julie. That's right, I'm Julie with the Julie Show, which is another name for my boring life and our denture adventure. Today actually marks the second anniversary of my teeth. I know it's only March 6th. I got my teeth started on March 8th. But today is the Monday of that week of March that I went in. So today marks 365 times 2, whatever that comes out to, 600 and 700, sorry, 750. Is that what it comes out to? 1250? Uh, I'm, I'm not retarded. I just honestly have a brain fart. But, um, so two years in dentures. I didn't know if I was going to post in two days or not about my two years in dentures. I had a rough road. If you guys go back and look at some of those videos, it wasn't so easy some days. I remember at the 10th day, I was begging for mercy from God. I said, why did I get this done? Oh my gosh. And I remember somewhere around the 12th month, I did a video where I'm sitting on my stairs and I'm like, you got to be a strong person to go through this. You wouldn't have went through this. You wouldn't have decided this if you weren't a strong person. Because you have to be strong enough to make a mental decision about losing something that's in your mouth that is just crumbled. That's like having some bad ankle or a bad knee. And you know what I'm saying? You making the decision with your doctor whether or not you need a replacement. You know what I'm saying? That's what this is. Prosthetic teeth. Today and yesterday, I've been doing great. I have used a tiny bit of Coracane just because they gave me so much of it. But other than that, no no salt water rinses, just the warm water on the bottom, just for that one little spot that they didn't howl out is the term they'll use, is when they go in and they make the little sections for those little numbs that keep your lip and your gum together, the little lip of skin we've been talking about. They go in and they howl out a little area down here but mine is so off centered that it wasn't centered properly so a couple of weeks about a month ago I went in and I had them fix it but what she did is she took it off and what she failed to do is she failed to hollow it out in the back side so the back side still just as tight pushing it forward making it hurt still I've showed you guys many times what I do simple little tiny nudges to my dentures I had a lady come on mine and say you know what just talk to your dentist. My dentist lets me make all my adjustments at home. He said, I know what you're doing. You're telling me what you're doing. You're doing it right. So go ahead and do it. She said, just go ahead and talk to your dentist. Well, I've only met my dentist for like a brief two minutes. Dr. Bree is no longer there. The one that did my teeth, the one that did the actual pulling and putting in my teeth. She no longer works at that Aspen. She moved to Jefferson City, which is two hours from here. I don't think I'm going to be seeing Dr. Bree. I did get a brief visit with this new guy. Um, he seems pretty cool. He told me to start the powder. Uh, cause I was getting air and he was right. I wasn't doing it right at first and neither was my mother-in-law and I had to show her how to do it right too. Uh, I wasn't using enough. I was using a little nozzle on the top of the fixing it powder is so fine. And I'm telling you right now, it would not come out. It just would not come out. I look cross eyed. Mm -hmm. You look that close into your phone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like a 10 time magnifying magni magnifying mirror here. Anyways, so I could go right now, switch some cars around and take off, or I could take my donations up to the next town and just take them in my son's infinity because I have a good driving record, but knowing that today would be the day I totaled his vehicle. So I am so afraid to drive my son's infinity. It is parked in front of his Mazda. Those are the only two options I have. I'd rather just drive the Mazda. The Mazda is not plated properly. It has its proper plates. It's just expired. Um, we have to get an inspection yet in this state, in this state re requires an inspection because it's when we moved from Kansas over to Missouri. So men don't move back to Kansas with the same car. Somebody backed into it in the parking lot. Ever since then, he's wanted a new car. That's why he went and got the infinity. Now, most people be like, mama, mama, like Dalton, what does he call me? He, whatever the Spanish is for mama. Anyways, he always says that. And then he'll say, why would you not want to take my car? And it's like, dude, it'd be different if it was my Infinity sitting out there and I went in and hit number two. What you do in these new cars where you set up the seat, the mirror, and the steering wheel is set up for two drivers. So you don't got to sit there and fiddle-faddle with it when you and your husband or wife switch out vehicles when you're driving with somebody. You hit person one, mm, 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 it adjusts it just like a robot. And you hit person two, eh, mm, it brings it in for me because that's how I set it up. 
Dalton told me once I got it set up, I drove it around the neighborhood the first night he got it. He got it set up. He goes, okay, you got it all set up. Can you see? You got the steering wheel you want. You got everything. He goes, now push that button. I push two. He goes, now when you get in my car, you push two, it'll always go that way. Oh, I need a newer car. That is such a cool feature. When we do so much changing of the cars, I drove the Mazda, the Infinity. I drive the Rogue. Daniel drives the Mazda, the Rogue. He won't drive the Infinity either. I think we're both deathly afraid of ruining Dalton's car, even though he ruined my Cobalt. And this Mazda that I found for him, he seemed to have done a number on being in the construction business. Um, he had a lot of big plans for that car, but that failed. Um, he has a lot of big plans for his infinity. I hope he gets through them, which so far he's really doing a good job. Uh, but you got to try to save money and pay the payments and do all the fix ups at the same time. He's lucky he is living at home. And I had a feeling that, you know, he wanted to buy a car. So my offer for him to come back home, I was like, I understand the dating world. It doesn't look too good when a 22 year old still looks at home. But right now with the way that the world is, a lot of 22 year olds are still kind of checking in and out with their mama and pops, if you know what I'm saying. They're not really checking out because the world is like not a nice place. Let me shut off this light. Look, you can see how short I am by my pictures on my wall. <sighs> Terribly short. Did I just step on a cord? Yes, I did. Okay, so this was a denture adventure. I'm marking my two-year anniversary just in case I don't get on here on March 8th, which was the official date that I had my bottom teeth pulled out. Or was it my top teeth? Oh, my God, it's been two years. I forgot. We did it in two separate days because I didn't get put under because of my Wolf Parkinson White disorder in my heart. Would have caused sudden instant death. If I would have had a bad um, blood pressure reading during the surgery or while I was under, I could have died. So a lot of doctors turned me down for this. This girl that I found, Dr. Bree, that I speak of at Aspen, she happened to have WPW. It's what they say for short for Wolf Parkinson White. So she went ahead on a Monday and pulled one set of teeth. And then on Tuesday, pulled the rest of them. Just gave me Novocaine and put my teeth in and sent me on my way. And <laughs> here I am. Happy, too. And I think that optic white might be working. All right, you guys go. Have a blessed day. I hope your dentures are fitting good. If you have any questions, please just comment. I check. I get notifications. I always check my YouTube. I don't get very much over here because a lot of you guys really don't know me in person. I had a couple of people tell me to keep my hands out of my hair. You know what I told them? Peace off. I do play with my hair too much. It's a It's a bad habit. It's just a habit. It's not hurting anyone. If you don't want to watch me play with my hair, I got to keep it out of my mouth. It's getting in my mouth. Anyways, yeah. So I don't deal with negativity too well. Bye-bye. Especially when you just want to keep coming back, pissing people off. That's just rude. Isn't there enough hate in this world? Have we looked outside lately? Do we really got to bring it to cyberbully land in, in adult world? I don't bully anybody. There's no, you don't cyber bully adults, you know, and then you got kids committing suicide and ain't nobody being held accountable for this shit. And they're even leaving letters letting you know who is accountable. It's a crazy world we're living in. Yep. I hope you're all having a good denture day. I am actually been having a good denture week. Well, it's Monday, so it's the start of a week. But like I said, this is the Monday I went two years ago to get these in. And you'll go through and you'll see when things started to get better. And then I got my digital dentures put in. And wow, what a difference when you get your real dentures. Whoa, whoa, whoa. If you haven't gotten there yet, you need to. I uh, just know that everything's going to change for the better. Okay. It all changes for the better. You guys go and have a great day.